Oh, hello, welcome back, my Liberian brothers and sisters. Are you ready to slaughter more? F oh, I'm see, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I mean to liberate more beautiful people of Africa. Yes, welcome. Hey, every everybody, how's it going, guys? It's a Grip and Max Ennis here with another Making History video, and we are, of course, playing as the newly formed Republic of Liberia, led by Namimbi Maxentius, of course, or Maxentius Namimbi, whichever you choose to say. Uh, guys, it's become very apparent to me that our great nation needs more land. It's clear that our Liberian Republic is much larger than it was before, probably fivefold, actually, but you know what? It's been decided in the Liberian um, General Council, the actual uh, the junta staff of the Liberian military has decided that, unfortunately, this Senegalese territory of Dakar, the city of Dakar itself, hosts terrorists that want to attack our Liberian nation. Now, these reports may be uh, not very substantial, but you want to know something, guys? I believe it's enough. We will go to war with these terrorists, we will kill them all, and we will, of course, take this land for Liberia. This is the plan. I also want to take this beautiful little nation right here, uh, but I think we're going to wait for that. We're not going to do it right away. We're going to bide our time, and eventually, if these guys are easy enough to take, we will go ahead and take the nation. Now, I might leave some troops behind, and the only reason I'm doing this is I don't want the enemy to be able to move in. As you can see, the actual army of Senegal could easily move into Liberia with little difficulty. We do not want this to happen. Let's go ahead and move by road with our militia. And we'll move over here with another unit of militia and try to crush the enemy before nightfall, my friends. Here we go. We'll move by road here as well. Attack the enemy! Beautiful! Inst instant victory! I am such a good leader. My victories happen immediately. You see you see how this works? You should always vote for me. Oh, wait. I'm a dictator. I'm he automatically vote for me, so who cares? But here we go, guys. We are attacking the enemy um, and trying to conquer more and more territory for a beautiful nation. And obviously, this has caught the attention of Ghana. They're not very happy. Um, and Togo is also not very happy. But you know what? Togo is a tiny-ass nation. I couldn't care less what they think. And in fact, we're moving right into Gambia. Our Blitzkrieg has begun. Um, and we are, of course, going to go ahead and kill Gambia. Or, sorry, liberate Gambia. My apologies. Um, and go ahead and take this territory completely. So actually, we have a lot of units still moving in uh, to the capital here um, of Dakar. And for those of you that are racing fans, Dakar hosts one of the best uh, racing, car racing rallies in the world. Um, so I would love to take that city and build a new racetrack for my children uh, to give them a nice place to just have fun and race their cars. Their Lamborghinis, which I would buy them uh, with the money of the people, of course. Uh, but forget all that. Just I'm just a nice, friendly dictator. I'm not trying to start any trouble. Uh, but here we go, guys. We're really trying to take over that western part of Africa. It's going to give us a beautiful trade space for the rest of the world. Now, the problem is people hate us right now. Not just Africans, but our own people don't very like us very much. They like us a lot more than, under the dictatorship than they do under the democracy. But also, European nations aren't even willing to trade with us. Um, because of our uh, constant wars. And there we go. Gambia is conquered. We will annex the territory, receive some gold from it, and some beautiful food, which I can't wait to dig into. I want to try to ripe mango of Gambia. We will go ahead and move these guys in, and we'll send our militia over here to attack the main capital of the Senegalese. Um, and we'll definitely send an actual soldier in too, but I'm pretty sure the bulk of the Senegalese army is right here. On to victory! Yes! Beautiful! So that's an awesome victory right there already. What shall we do next? So far we haven't had any sectarian violence, unlike other countries in the region like Sudan, who's already had several wars, um, and actually several kingdoms break away from it, we haven't had any issues. Uh, and Germany has did, did severed diplomatic relations with Russia. That's not necessarily good for them. Let's go ahead. We're going to move in. And we're going to also order a cavalry charge uh, in Kayor. We must destroy the enemy with one glorious blitz. Here we go, my friends. It should end soon. Wow, the battle continues, guys. I'm going to take a quick look here. Um, and let's see. 14-3. We've got this. I want to see the approval of our government is 
16%. That's the highest so far. We are doing great. Uh, so far, you know, Liberians, it's so hard to make them happy, especially since we have so many different cultures in this area. Um, but it does seem that we are quite loved, I mean, well, by 20% or so of the people. Um, and the rest are just kind of tilling along. And that's the way we want things. We like things that way. Now, in these other areas, I'm going to start building low rail density. I want to get production up immediately for our glorious nation. We also want open field farms, especially in Gambia, because it is plains. So it makes very, very good crops. All right, let's see over here. We got someone working? I hope so. We don't want a single one of our provinces to stop working at this point, my friends. Low rail density, fair enough. Here we go. Let us continue. Take no prisoners. No, wait a minute. Take them. Take them. We are trying to get good with the UN and Geneva Convention, so they, we actually will not cut the hearts out of the prisoners and eat them. Not this time, anyway. Here we go, guys. We continue to charge. These guys are putting up an amazing resistance, especially considering we have the African equivalent of Nazi Germany um, here uh, attacking the enemy. We are crushing them. They're offering a treaty. We're going to reject it, and we're getting some sectarian violence, guys, in one of our areas. This is troubling, um, and I'm actually going to have to move the militia down here, so I'm going to cancel the current order. Now, this is something I want you guys to let me know. If you guys have gotten this far in the video, I'm curious. These are actually pagan theocrats. Um, what would a pagan theocratic state be like and would you support it? I mean, that just seems crazy to me, especially since Africans are mainly animists. So um, it would be a very interesting sort of like voodoo-esque um, state. I don't know how it would work, but maybe we can try it. The people want it, actually. 33% of our people are yearning for a theocracy, and the rest don't really care for anything else. So right now, the dictatorship is the only thing saving us from a global Liberian revolution of theocrats. Oh my goodness, Serbia has declared an unprovoked war on Bosnia-Herzegovina. And as you know, um, Bosnia-Herzegovina is actually a place where basically the uh, Serbs and the Muslims were separated. Um, so that would be very interesting. And actually, we have an armed rebellion starting in our country, guys. This is not good. I want to take a look over here. Uh, right now, the defenders have quite a lot of men. Oh my goodness. Um, we're gonna need to start building men. Let's go. We've got Conakry. They're actually trying to start the rebellion in Sierra Leone. We may need to go ahead and offer peace to Gambia and uh, allow them to keep this tiny, tiny, Senegal, excuse me, and allow them to keep this tiny, tiny bit of territory uh, for now, or we could keep trying to fight. Let's take a look over here at our barracks and see if there's anything we can build. Militia. All right, let's get militia here. See, this is the problem, is that most of our strong troops can only be built in this province, which is why I find it so important to get there immediately. Um, so you know what we might have to do, guys? We're going to go ahead and actually offer these bastards a peace treaty. Um, we will ask for current borders. Status quo is good. Absolutely. There we go. That's what we want. We're going to offer peace. And they have accepted it. What choice do they have? We have totally conquered their nation. You could almost say that they're now a satellite of us, but I had to do this, my friends. My great Liberian brothers and sisters, we must stop the revolt right now. We cannot have sectarians destroying a great dictatorship. I mean, democracy or republic. Uh, so we will move in immediately to attack the enemy. Here we go. Everybody's moving by road, and I hope our roads are half decent. If not, the rest of you guys are going to have to get out of here by foot. We must stop these pagan rioters immediately. And we must make sure that we instill a fear and terror in them so that no other revolts try to rise up in Liberia. These men call themselves the Army of Charles Hampton. And right now they're trying to actually declare independence from Liberia. As you can see, they have actually started their own nation. This cannot be accepted. And as you can see, the Kingdom of Sierra Leone was founded and declared independence from the Liberian Republic. Um, and of course, we're going to attack. They actually have started a, uh, a war against us, these bastards. Uh, and we will certainly 
give them the blade. We're gonna give them some steel. Uh, we will not forget this attack ever. So let's move in. Create infrastructure. Yes, good. Stop this rebellion right in its tracks, my friends, and end any thought of rebellions in Liberia forever. As you know, Liberia is plagued with rebellions. In fact, the entire history of the country is essentially one giant rebellion, one giant revolution after another. We want that to end right here, and that's where we're going to end it. Um, that's the reason I accepted this peace offer with the enemy, and I think it's worth it. I think we could still build up a decent economy um, and possibly declare war on them later. There is always later, my friends. Why are you moving there, you silly soldier? You move here. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and distribute these guys evenly in our provinces. We'll move to Gambia, of course. We've taken that territory. And just all the territories we've taken. This is going to build up our glorious nation. Why can't we move this guy? Well, we'll move him later. Defeat the rebels, man. Why are you taking so long? Kill them all. This defeating of the rebels is taking too long. I don't like it. These rebels are putting up a good fight. And unlike the other rebels we've had in this country, they actually have a decent army with a starting power of five. That might not seem like a lot, but that's about one-third of our entire military force. Um, so there we go. We've actually got a militia unit. And this guy doesn't even have a cap. That's really interesting. A lot of our militia units have caps. This guy from Conakry uh, has nothing <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, so that's pretty cool. All right, weird. Battle of Sierra Leone. My goodness, look at that. They have so many men here. This is unbelievable. Um, they really have a lot of men. We're going to have to go ahead and keep fighting. I mean, this is a rebellion to match all rebellions, my friends. It really is. Uh, I'm going to jump over here really quickly. At the Grain Coast. I don't think I can build anything. But I really want to find out how to move this stupid thing over. Why will it not attack? Damn army. Let's see if at least our militia will attack. That's why. It's the enemy army. I'm a fool. Um, I'm hoping we can defeat them, but these guys have a serious army. I mean, this is a really nasty rebellion, guys. And uh, I hope we can keep things in order. Let's go ahead and end the turn. We've got to be able to beat the enemy here. Okay, let's take a look at this terrible battle. I mean, the enemy's got 15. We're still taking 33% of these casualties. It's going to be rough for us, guys. If we're going to make it out of here, it's going to be a miracle. We're getting some light cavalry on the way, but I don't know if that's going to be enough uh, to actually beat the enemy here. We may need to give the Leonese back their terrible, terrible country. Um, we may not have a choice. Come on, man, you can do this. We don't care. We don't give a shit. <laughs> machine guns, that's what we want. We want machine guns right now. Um, once again, I don't think we can build anything in Monrovia. I'm going to try to get some infantry out here. It's going to take three turns, uh, but I hope it makes a difference in this war. Uh, because right now, the enemy has absolutely got the advantage. Okay, peace treaty with, of course, and now the Sunni Islamic factions of our country are actually rising up in other parts of the country. However, we are starting to match the enemy in terms of military strength. Will we succeed, guys, or will we be crushed? I have no idea. <clears throat> but I hope you like the series so far, and I hope you will stick with us as we try to persevere our beautiful nation of Liberia. Glory to the country and death to the rebel traitors.